Hey everyone, this is Kerry Anderson. Hope you all doing well. In today's video, I'll talk about the 16 best foods to control diabetes. So if you like the video related to my health, my way, I would like to request you all please to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, or give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin. Let's go. Figuring out the best foods to eat when you have diabetes can be tough. That's because your main goal should be controlling your blood sugar level. However, it's also important to eat foods that help prevent diabetes complications like heart disease. Your diet can have a major role in preventing and managing diabetes. So here will be the 16 best foods for people living with diabetes, which is both for type 1 and type 2. The first one, we'll talk about the fatty fish. Some people consider fatty fish to be one of the healthiest foods on the planet. Salmon, sardines, herring, and coveys and mackerel are great sources of the omega-3 fatty acids DHA and EPA, which have major benefits for heart health. Getting enough of these fat on a regular basis is especially important for people with diabetes who have an increased risk for heart disease and stroke. DHA and EPA protect the cell that line your blood vessel, reduce makers of inflammation, and may help improve the way your arteries function. Research indicates that people who eat fatty fish regularly have a lower risk for acute coronary syndromes like heart attack and are less likely to die from heart disease. The second one, I'll talk about the leafy greens. Leafy green vegetables are extremely nutritious and low in calories. They are also very low in digestible carb or carb absorbed by the body, so they won't significantly affect blood sugar level. Spinach, kale, and other leafy greens are good sources of many vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C. Some evidence suggested trusted source that people with diabetes have lower vitamin C levels than people without diabetes and may have greater vitamin C requirements. Vitamin C acts as a potent antioxidant and also has anti-inflammatory qualities. Now, we will come and talk about the avocados. Avocados have less than one gram of sugar, few carbohydrate, a high fiber content and healthy fat. So you don't have to worry about them raising your blood sugar level. Avocado consumption is also associated with improved overall diet quality and significantly lower body weight and body mass index. This makes them an ideal snack for people with diabetes, especially since obesity increases your chance for developing diabetes. Avocados may have properties specific to preventing diabetes. A 2019 study in mice should found that avocatine B, a fat molecule found only in avocados, inhibits incomplete oxidation in skeletal muscle and the pancreas, which reduces insulin resistance. Now I'll talk about the eggs. Eggs provide amazing health benefit. In fact, they are one of the best food for keeping you full and satisfied in between meals. Regular egg consumption may also reduce your heart disease risk in several ways. Eggs decrease inflammation, improve insulin sensitivity, increase your HDL, good cholesterol level, and modify the size and shape of your LDL, bad cholesterol. A 2019 study found that eating a high-fat and low-carb breakfast of egg could help individuals with diabetes manage blood sugar level throughout the day. Now I'll talk about chia seeds. Chia seeds are a wonderful food for people with diabetes. They are extremely high in fiber, yet low in your digestible carb. In fact, 11 of the 12 grams of carb in a 28 gram serving of chia seeds are fiber, which doesn't raise blood sugar. The vicious fiber in chia seeds can actually lower your blood sugar level by slowing down the rate and which food moves through your gut and is absorbed. Chia seeds may help you achieve a healthy weight because fiber reduces hunger and make you feel full. Chia seeds may also help maintain glycemic management in individuals with diabetes. Now I'll talk about the beans. Beans are cheap, nutritious, and super healthy. 
Beans are a type of legume rich in B vitamins, beneficial minerals calcium, potassium, and magnesium, and fiber. They also have a very low glycemic index, which is important for managing diabetes. Beans may also help prevent diabetes. In a study involving more than 3,000 participants at high risk for cardiovascular disease, those who had a higher consumption of legumes had a 35% reduced chance of developing type 2 diabetes. Now I'll talk about Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is a great dairy choice for people with diabetes. Some research suggests that eating certain dairy products like yogurt may improve blood sugar management and reduce heart disease risk factor, perhaps partly due to the probiotic it contains. Studies also indicate that yogurt consumption may be associated with lower levels of blood glucose and insulin resistance. Additionally, yogurt may reduce your risk for diabetes. Now, eat. That is nuts. Nuts are delicious and nutritious. All type of nuts contain fiber and low in net carb, although some have more than others. Here are the amount of digestible carb per one ounce, which is 28 grams serving of nut. According to the US Department of Agriculture, which is almonds, 2.6 grams, brazil nuts, 1.4 grams, cashew, 7.7 grams, hazelnut, 2 grams, macadamia, 1.5 grams, pecans, 1.2 grams, pistachios, 5 grams, walnut, 2 grams. Now I'll talk about broccoli. Broccoli is one of the most nutritious vegetables around. A half cup of cooked broccoli contains only 27 calories and 3 grams of digestible carb. Along with important nutrients like vitamin C and magnesium, what's more, studies in people with diabetes have found that eating broccoli sprouts may help lower insulin level and protect against cellular damage. Broccoli may also help manage your blood sugar level. Next, we'll be talking about extra virgin olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil is extremely beneficial for heart health. It contains oleic acid, a type of mono unsaturated fat that has been shown to improve glycemic management, reduce fasting, and most post-meal triglyceride levels and have antioxidant properties. This is important because people with diabetes tend to have trouble managing blood sugar level and have high triglyceride levels. Olic acid may also stimulate the fullness hormone, GLP-1. Now I'll talk about flock seeds. Flock seeds are an incredibly healthy food, also known as common flocks or linseeds. Flock seeds have a high content of heart, healthy omega-3 fats, fiber, and other unique plant compounds. A portion of their insoluble fiber is made up of lignans, which may help decrease heart disease risk and improve blood sugar management. A review analyzing 25 randomized clinical trials found a significant association between both flax seeds supplementation and a reduction in blood glucose. Flock seeds may also help lower blood pressure. Then it comes to apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar has many health benefits, although it made from apple. The sugar in the fruit is fermented into acetic acid and the resulting product contain less than one gram of carb per tablespoon. According to the meta-analysis of six studies, including 317 patients with type 2 diabetes, apple cider vinegar has beneficial effect on fasting, blood sugar level, and HbA1c. It may also reduce blood sugar response by as much as 20% when consumed with meals containing carb. Apple cider vinegar is believed to have many other helpful properties, including antimicrobial and antioxidant effect, but more studies are needed to confirm its health benefit. Then I'll talk about the strawberry. Strawberry are one of the most nutritious fruits you can eat. They are high in antioxidant, known as anthocyanins, which give them their red color. Anthocyanins have been shown to reduce cholesterol and insulin level after a meal. They also improve blood sugar and heart disease risk factors for people with type 2 diabetes. Strawberries also contain polyphenols, which are beneficial plant compounds with antioxidant properties. A 2019 study found that a six-week consumption of polyphenols from strawberries and cranberries improved insulin sensitivity in adults with overweight and obesity who didn't have diabetes. Now I'll talk about the garlic. 
For its tiny size and low calorie count, garlic is incredibly nutritious. One clove, three grams of raw garlic, which is roughly four calories, contains manganese, two percent of the daily value, vitamin B6, two percent of the DV, vitamin C, one percent of the daily value, selenium, one percent of the daily value, fiber, 0.6 grams. Research indicate that garlic contribute to improved blood glucose management and can help regulate cholesterol. And now I'll talk about squash. Squash, which has many varieties, is one of the healthiest vegetables around. The dense filling food is fairly low in calories and has a low glycemic index. Winter varieties have a hard shell and include a corn, pumpkin, and butternut. Summer squash has a soft peel that can be eaten. The most common types are zucchini and Italian squash. Like most vegetables, squash contain beneficial antioxidant. Squash also has less sugar than sweet potatoes, making it a great alternative. Then it comes to shirataki noodle. Shirataki noodle are wonderful for diabetes and weight management. These noodles are high in the fiber glucomanin, which is extracted from konjac root. This plant is grown in Japan and processed into the shape of noodles or rice known as shirataki. Glucomanin is a type of vicious fiber which helps you feel full and satisfied. Worse more, it's been shown to reduce blood sugar level after eating and improve heart disease risk factor in people with diabetes and metabolic syndrome. The bottom line, when diabetes is not well managed, it increases your risk for several serious disease. But eating food that help keep blood sugar, insulin and inflammation manageable can dramatically reduce your risk for complication. Just remember, all of these foods may help manage blood sugar. The most important factor in healthy blood sugar management is following an overall nutritious balanced diet. So that's all about the diabetes in this video. I hope you all liked it. If you have any certain question, feel free to type in the comment box so that I will come to know and help you in a better way. So for all of you, I prepared a small presentation that will be going to share in the description box below. You can check it out from there. So before signing off, I would like to request you a piece to like, share, subscribe so that your loved ones will get to know better. So this is Kerry Anderson signing off. Till then, take care. Bye-bye and God bless.